Hi, I'm Daryl Crow, and I like to say welcome to our March 2011 update. We've got a lot of great things to share with you. We've been extremely busy, but you know something? We've passed some milestones in this particular year that we've been working throughout the last three months of last year to accomplish. It's been a tough having lost one of your key people because they moved on in life, graduated from college, and are out in the real world now. And so Joe and I have been forging on, and we have some great announcements. And to help me make those announcements to you today, I'm going to go ask Joe to come right up here, join with me, just so he can tell you about it. Joe, you back there still? Daryl, is that you? <laughs> Oh boy, we're going to have a great day today, I can tell. Why don't you come on up, Joe? I'd like to have, I know we didn't rehearse this, but I'd like to have you talk about some of the things that we've been doing here since you've been right at the heart of it. All right, just come on back and unlock the cage so I can come out, Daryl. I'll be happy to join you. All right. Anyway, thank you, Joe. This is the new and improved Daryl Crow, by the way. Look at this guy. You believe this like I'm working with an half a person I used to work with? Well, I guess that means I'm only half the man I used to be. I didn't want to quite word it that way. That's not true. You're, you're a lot better man, but look at you, the picture of health. I mean, it's just so, isn't this cool? If you've seen some of the videos, believe me when I tell you this is a dramatic improvement. Well, you know something that brings up a point. We had to load up all of those new videos. And what did we load up? About 80 new films? I'm going to say 81 new films, yeah. Uh, I guess that uh, I wasn't too precise then. No, you, you missed it by usually a long shot, but that's all right. I covered you. Okay, good, good. And, and the thing that just scared me was looking at how big I used to be. I know. It, we all commented on it when we started loading him and previewing him, going, oh, my God, is that really you? And, and uh, I've, I've had... You know, I, I was at the gym the other day, yep. and I'm exercising away. Now, that's a very odd thing for me, because I spent the first 60 years of my life successfully avoiding gyms. That's correct. Well, driving by, I think you held your hand over your heart once or twice. I mean. Yes, you know, it was in memory of young high school days. <laughs> but it, in any case, I'm in this, and there's this woman that I knew, and I used to teach at a uh, local store called A.C. Moore. And she walked in with a friend, and they were taking a tour, because I've seen how uh, the staff there sells. Right. And, and one of the things that they do is they take them on the tour. And I'm exercising away, and I just wave at her. Hi, Carol, how you doing? And she was like, Uh, see, this is where I should have been behind the camera to capture that <laughs> face, and I missed this whole Kodak moment. Yeah, see? well, oh. she came up and she said, you lost all that weight. I thought it was you, but then it couldn't be because, oh, my goodness, I'm joining this gym right now. <laughs> but anyway, let's get on back to what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. Now, you've had a technical uh, uh, challenge here because... Any time that one technical person leaves and another one comes in, mm -hmm. you have to learn how they were thinking and how right. they put together things. What would you say uh, about the state of our uh, uh, technical status right now? The state I of would our say right now we are almost at the peak of where we want to be. Right. Uh, we just need to introduce, which you're going to be explaining now, what we're doing. But uh, stability-wise, I think we're there. Now, we've had a bit of a difficulty restoring the database for the membership club. Would I be safe in saying that's totally done now? It is done at this point. Uh, as of midnight last night, it is, I'm totally happy with it. Great. So that means for all of you charter members who signed up, uh, we I'm are going to leave you in. Okay. Go hey, ahead. Joe, thank nice you very much. Nice talking to you guys. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> folks, what? Uh, what Joe was saying is very monumental because last night he finished putting this uh, database together so that means we now have the historical record of who actually is a charter member and who has been a member since our sh charter ship uh, ended. Now for you charter members you've been very very patient waiting for your bonuses that's now going to start. So what we're going to do, this is the only way Joe, Joe could be able to extend this, is he wrote some programs, and with your March payment, he has extended for your bonus period. So you needn't worry about getting your bonus time. Now, 
So that means you won't receive a bill in April through May through June, July. Now, if your membership didn't start until April, then it'll occur on the anniversary of your April payment. If it started in May, it'll, it'll uh, work in May. Now, I'm not sure if we had charter members signed up for June, but if we did, that will also begin in June. So if your membership was at its anniversary, one year anniversary in January, February, or March, then in March, you're going to be granted uh, your uh, bonus period of time. Now that's only for those members who signed up during our promotional time. We've offered different promotions to other people since then and none of those are impacted by our uh, database problems that we had. So I think every one of you are going to join with me in thanking uh, Joe and all of the hours that he spent on the last 90 days restoring our entire membership beta, uh, database and getting the entire You Can Paint Club back up. Now, we actually have more things planned aesthetically for the YouCanPaintClub.com. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be upgrading now. The platform where we've been using is uh, four or five years old. So we're going to bring it current to this year. And that's going to mean some changes that are really cool. We'll be able to use some software we haven't been able to use before. And we'll be able to make it look snazzier. And we've got kind of like a little grungy look coming. And uh, I think you're really going to be excited by what you see. And this will never end. We'll always be improving. Because I have a little marketing gal down in uh, Florida who looks over and she whispers in my ear and she says, Daryl, y'all do this, y'all do that, go take a look here, take a look there. And so we keep looking, we keep seeing things that we like. So Joe, your job will never be done, you know. I knew that. I just had that feeling. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's only going to get better. It's only going to get better. It's been a pleasure and it still will continue to be a pleasure. Now, another thing that's happening is we've been telling a lot of people in our wildlife, and you know, I really owe you an apology, but I just didn't know how to get around it. We filmed the buffalo, the tribute to the North American buffalo, and that's still sitting in uh, so many different places on disk drives, and I don't know if it's worth uh, editing it or just reshooting it, but Joe's been working on it, although not much, but over the next couple of weeks, we're going to finish that edit and get it up onto the website. Now, the one thing we're missing right now are all the palette shots, but we've got all of the painting strokes down and those are about ready to go. But once we can integrate the palette shots in, because everybody wants to know how we mix colors and so you should. We also have another video project, which is Wolverton Mountain. And uh, I actually debut singing an entire song in that uh, video. Don't uh, remind me, oh my, no, it's beautiful folks, it's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, you're too kind, Joe. <laughs> you're too kind. He's actually, uh, uh, well, you'll see when you watch the film. Now, Joe has a surprise for everyone. I'm going to ask him to come right back up here and tell us about something very special that he's going to be putting on the club in April, and it has absolutely nothing to do with painting. Joe, why don't you come up for a moment? Fancy meeting you here, Daryl. <laughs> What I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, and, and being the musician I've been for many, many years, I love music. And I love being able to sing along to music. So I'm going to put up a free karaoke player with songs. And it's going to continue. I'll probably post 10 or 12 songs a week, uh, all different venues and styles. If you have any particular songs that you love, that are favorites, that bring back memories to you, let me know. I'll make sure that you have them. Uh, a karaoke player for your PC will actually put the words up and the music so you can sing along to your favorite songs and have parties and have a lot of fun. Uh, people really do enjoy it. I'm sure you've been to karaoke clubs. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So you will have that opportunity for nothing. Uh, that's just my gift to, to everybody. So that's it. Thank you, Joe. You may be wondering why I think having a karaoke player was just a great idea. But if you've been around me at all, you know I love music and I love painting. I just don't happen to be quite as good of a singer as Joe. I'm just a tad bit worse. <laughs> I just couldn't resist that. And, uh, but in any case, you really got to see that Wolverton Mountain film. But in any case, I love sitting there painting 
and I love singing and playing my favorite song. So we're just kind of combining the both of them together. So while you've got your PC next to uh, your uh, easel and you're painting along, you can also put the karaoke song on in the background. And there you go. What better way to spend the hours than painting and singing to your favorite song? Now, something else we're going to be doing uh, over the next uh, few months is we're introducing the YouTube population to our videos. And we've been experimenting with this for a couple of years. Now, it's not going to mean too much to you if you already know about us. But if you're out there and you've got friends who like to watch films on YouTube, you can say, hey, try out the Daryl Crow Studios uh, YouTube channel. Now, I have to tell you something. Um, I'm not sure whose fault it is, so since I'm the big guy, I'll take the fault for misspelling my own name. But it's Daryl Crow, D-A-R-R-E-L-L-C-R-O-W, Studios, S-T-U-D-I-O-E-S. -E Can you believe I did that? But anyway, that's the Daryl Crow Studios uh, YouTube channel. Now, as a special gift to everyone, I'm going to put my entire portrait painting series on YouTube, which means it'll end up on the You Can Paint Club and it's going to end up on our web uh, video blog. So this is my gift back to all my students for all they've been doing and for having trusted me with their educational experience with art. It's one of the least things that I can do is to make this available. We're going to go right into the beginning, right from how to plan doing a portrait all the way through putting on the final detail. We're going to talk about the facial structures. We're going to talk about different ages. We're going to show you my seven step process in painting portraits. I think you're going to be really excited. Now this is all going to start in April. Between now and then we're going to be busy putting up some motivational uh, videos on YouTube. We already have the basic techniques of oil painting water up there in 20 different lessons and many of you came to know me through those particular lessons. We're going to add more lessons on uh, uh, the different uh, series that we have to interest people and show them what's available. So feel free to reference to your friends. We'll be putting them up. It'll probably take us 90 days to get everything done that we've done. But as you can see from the last time that we talked about getting everything moved up and populating the You Can Paint Club, it took us about 90 days to do that. And, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. We had to buy a bigger uh, web server. By the way, Joe, how's that new web server performing? Oh, it's performing beyond expectations, really. It's great. It is great. That's good. Anything I need to worry about? Uh, I'll let you know in about... Uh, no, of course not. Nothing. Everything is perfect. Oh, that's the kind of answer I like to hear. I remember when I was uh, 22 years old, fresh out of college, I'm working at this company. Uh, I don't think it exists anymore, but it was called Zentech Corporation. And you know, I'm a bright young engineer and uh, marketing person. And my uh, president, I would meet now and then, he came by and he says, Daryl, how's everything going? And I said, hmm. And I'm trying to figure out what is it he wants to know about that I don't know about that he knows about that he wants to know. So I'm sitting there thinking about that, and I said, well, I think everything's working out pretty good. And he said, that scares the devil out of me. You didn't answer positively, so I have a feeling something's out of control. I couldn't win for losing back then. I still can't win for losing. <laughs> but in any case, uh, we've got a lot of plans, but the, the main thing is, is that web server's now moved over. We have enough space to add films for the next 10 years, I believe. And so uh, we're going to make as we're going to try to run out in seven years. I think that's a good goal, Joe. Yeah, I believe that. And I think the, what we have planned, that's going to happen in seven versus 10. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a lot of things planned. You see, we may be getting older. We're just simply getting better. <laughs> and uh, so we want to have a lot of fun with you all. And you know something, one of the side benefits of having gotten thinner is that I can now walk again. I'm out of the wheelchair. Uh, my, uh, my insulin levels and all of the medication that I took have gone way, way down. And, uh, and you know something, I've never told anyone, but my doctor says I will have maintained, I will have reached goal in just 35 more pounds. 
Now, for those of you who have been tracking me, that means I'm now at 235. Isn't that exciting? A lack of an applause machine. <laughs> All righty. Anyway, uh, we have a lot of fun here at the Daryl Crow Studios, as I'm sure you can tell. This has been kind of different for us to be able to stand here as a video and be able to explain things since rather than sitting there and typity, 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 type, type. Have you ever gone down to uh, get a ticket at the airline company a couple of uh, years ago? You go up and they say, what's your name? And I'd say, I'm Daryl Crow. How do you spell that? Remember those days? <laughs> I never forgot that. And, I, and I've looked and looked and looked for things that we could do to make getting our information, our updates, our videos, and everything faster. One of the things that we did recently here in the studios is we reduced the number of computers. In order for us to film digitally and to edit digitally, we had three cameras tied into three separate computers, and we were able to eliminate videotape. And we were able to eliminate two days of uploading, or if you will, capturing video from film into our computers. So that meant the minute the filming was over, we were now ready to edit. I don't know if you understand the maintenance cost of getting three computers to work all together, all the time, always. And being able to monitor them while you're filming. But it's a bit of a work. All you have to do is miss one, and boom, you got to reshoot that whole scene on all three cameras. So Joe has put together a brand new system for us that integrates all three cameras into one single computer. Right now, all we've got to do is flick the switch, and uh, how many days does it take before you're ready to shoot, Joe? Oh, uh, like minutes now. It's, yeah, it, the editing is just the longest part now versus anything else. So. Because the editing's, you know, virtually the same. But it's a lot easier because everything's now done. As soon as we shut the switch off on the camera, it's ready to start editing. And you know, since we lost the teeth, we lost uh, our uh, internal editing skills. Oh, he was great. And, yeah, he, he was. was. And you know, he's gone on. He's uh, has been looking for an engineering position since he graduated at uh, WPI. And, uh, th and for th those of you who do not know the acronyms for WPI, I'm told it's WPI. So um, that, that's just a bit of trivia there in case you didn't know that. I, I had to explain that several times to Joe before you got it. I couldn't spell it. That was the whole problem. You're, you're at the two letters. like uh, WPI could handle, PI could handle. The putting all three together was tough. I didn't have a pen that actually wrote that kind of language. So. Yeah, yeah, getting the ones and zeros down was tough. All right, for those of you who are old computer people, you probably uh, were going, oh my gosh, not that again. <laughs> and for those of you who are not computer people, you're wondering, why are we going down that road? We're wondering the same question, too. <laughs> okay, uh, but since we lost the Teef, so Teef went on to concentrate on his last semester, which he successfully finished. And in fact, he was over here the other day just telling us all about his graduation party that's coming up and the different potential jobs that he's lining up all throughout the West Coast and through parts of uh, New England as well. So we wish you well, Latif. We miss you. We truly do. I have to tell you, life here is not the same without you. But you know, these things move on and uh, we've moved on. And one of the things that both Joe and I decided was to divide up the labor work. Joe has decided to do it all. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, these news flashes just come out of nowhere, don't they? <laughs> I love you, Joe. Thank you for volunteering. I mean, I couldn't. I just couldn't wish for a better outcome. <laughs> but uh, we've also changed the uh, editing software to a much simpler, streamlined, faster, and just as high quality editing facilities. And so. Wolverton Mountain and some of the marketing videos that you're seeing right now are exactly a byproduct of this new software and our learning. We even went to, uh, what was it, Web Video University? Yeah. Yeah, we spent both hours there. <laughs> and uh, 
So anyway, we're having a lot of fun, as you can see. We hope this has been a very meaningful and also most beneficial way for you to learn about what's going on. So let's look for a few things in the future. Number one, we're going to be looking for uh, the YouTube channel. Number two, we're going to be looking for the Wolverton Mountain and the uh, finishing the wildlife series. For those of you who had subscribed to the club, it'll appear on the club. For those of you who were wildlife subscribers, we're sending you the DVD on that. And we also have one more film that we had promised you, which is the Northwest pa or Northeast Passing, which is a sh uh, three paintings onto one 24 by 36 inch canvas. And it is of a moose, actually a moose in three separate seasons. I think you're really gonna enjoy that particular painting. I just can't wait to get it finished and edited and out to you. The, uh, the other thing is look out for the YouTube channel. That's going to be one of the ways that we're also going to be communicating to our vast audience. And you're going to be hearing more from our marketing person down in uh, Florida, Gabriella Donovan. She has just been a, a, a cornerstone in terms of helping us in some of our areas. And she's also partially responsible for some of the new directions we're taking in film. And she's actually, a lot of people have been telling me they didn't like our intro because they get tired of it. After all, it's only on 200 films, 200 DVDs. So I asked Gabriella to come up with a new one. So that's going to be introduced pretty soon. And I'm told probably in about 10 days, you should be able to go on to the You Can Paint Club and see our new introduction that'll appear on all DVD. So we have a lot going on here. And if there's anything I can do for you, please send, oh, that reminds me one more thing. Next week begins our weekly shows. Previously, we had two shows on the web. One was reviews, where we talked about different paintings and we did uh, reviews of those and showed you three things that were great and three things that could use improvements that are challenges for that particular artist, art student to learn. And we're going to continue doing that. We're also going to be answering your questions here. This is a great forum for answering questions. So we're going to be answering all of your questions on this. We're going to post them on our uh, You Can Paint Club, and we're gonna take bits and pieces that we think would be great, put them on the video blog, and we're also gonna be putting some of them uh, on the uh, uh, YouTube channel because we want people to get a flavor of what we're doing here. So until our next monthly update, this is Daryl Crow saying I love each and every one of you guys. Keep painting and keep sending me those emails.